Interesting and fun. Um, <laughs> I was living on my own about 16 and I worked at Shoppers Drug Mart full time and it was basically, I, I found an apartment in the junction which is my favorite area in the city and I had my own place like just to myself. I eventually had a friend move in but it was really nice to have like, I had the tiniest little place and I just like got paid out the nose for it and I just loved it and I just worked all the time and um, I dropped out of high school around that time so I could work. So it was just basically every single day was like a cycle of like going to work, coming back home and it was, it was all right, you know. So how did you, how did you get there? Um, get where? How did you get to being 16 and living on your own? Oh, um, my mother and I didn't have the best relationship when we were younger. It's actually gotten a lot better in the last couple months, yeah. specifically, funny enough, but, um, so we didn't get along with, and we had a really big family, and not maybe in terms of some big families, but I mean, I had two little sisters, I had mom and my dad, and <clears throat> It was just hard for her to like balance all of our like you're you're bringing up three small people and you're like mm. turning them into adults. Yeah. And since we were so close in age, it was so hard for her I think to like focus on like trying to make us all adults. Yeah. And then I was the oldest and I was like really irrational and I was like going through my angsty teen phase, you know, just being like fuck you guys, fuck authority. <laughs> um, I was really proud of myself for doing that I guess, being able to live on my own, mm -hmm. um, that young. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, like, I got a lot of help from my friends, definitely, and a lot of people in my life, but, um, yeah, it was hard and fun. In a weird, angsty, teenage way. Like, I, I, I wouldn't change it. It's rewarding. It, it was really rewarding. No, it was really good. I, like, things I didn't realize that my mother taught me when I was younger, like, mm -hmm. how to actually wash dishes, how to do the laundry. I never realized how valuable that information was until I actually needed to do it. I was like, oh yeah, I need to do it. I could do that. My friends were like, you know how to wash dishes with a dishwasher? It's amazing! <laughs> so how did you get into modeling then? Um, I, was, I was getting scouted pretty much since I've been about 14 by different agencies around the city. So it's always kind of like coming in and out of my life. Like someone would be like, hey, interesting, would you like to come in and see? And then I never um, got signed and then one day, um, I was in a place in my life where I needed to, I feel like I needed to do something different or more or other than working full time at Chopper's Drug Mart. <laughs> and, um, and then someone scouted me and I was like, you know what, sure, sure, let's do this. Okay, that's fine. And then they once again turned me down. So I got really fed up with them because their bookers kept bringing me into the agency mm -hmm. and being like, never mind. So I just went across the street and then he, he was like, okay, like, let's do this, we can do this. <laughs> and I was like, alright. And then he had his boot camp and then I met Marcia, who's head of Why Not Models in Milan. And then things kind of really got very different in my life since then. 